Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're outside again and we're gonna be working a little bit on improving my house, my playhouse. Yeah, I have this project going on which involves getting a heat pump to run off solar power and uh, that's on the other side of the house but I have some solar panels over here you can just see the edge of them here and they are configured in uh, four strings of three panels I think you call that 3S4P three panels in series and there are four of those in parallel I want to reconfigure those to have four panels in series and three in parallel there is a few benefits of doing that you get a higher voltage coming out of the solar panels and thereby you get lower amperage coming into the system and higher voltage lower amperage gives you less losses in the cables i am um, i have a solar controller i have actually have two of them in the basement and they look like this this is the e-smart tree it, it says it oh it actually does not say it but um on the side of this it says that this is an mppt 40 amps it can do 12 24 36 and 48 volts and it figures that out all by itself uh, depending on which battery bank you connect it to and then it says maximum volt 130 volts dc so that's from the solar panels and that is kind of important then it tells you that it will do 520 watts in 12 volts double in 24 1560 in 36 volts and 2080 watts in 48 volts i'm using my system in 48 volts so i get the benefits of 2080 this solar charge controller was one of the first that came out of the e-smart tree and it says 130 volts i have two newer ones in the basement and they say 150 volts and on this solar charge controller the rs485 connection over here which is used to uh, configure and manage the system well i can't get that working so um this one is kind of an iffy i'm not going to be using that but those extra 20 volts that i got means that i can now put the solar panels four in series instead of three in series so um, i uh, want to try and do that today so let's go have a look here is a look at my solar panels and you can see there's 12 panels up there three along this way and four along that way so right now i have three connected this way in each roll and then the last roll up here is also a roll and that is what i'm gonna try and change so that instead i'm gonna have these four connected these four connected and these four connected and it should be rather simple to do that it's a very quiet day there is almost not a wind touching yeah it's not a lot of sun yet I think as soon as it burns through this uh, damp wet weather I'll have a lot of sun so um, I'll kind of want to disconnect it in here in my garage which <laughs> haven't seen a car in years I have a, a switch off box with a fuse for each of the four um, panels out there one of them is 25 amps uh, the rest is 16 amps so I'm probably gonna get rid of that one because that, that was actually it's a bit much i should maximum see about eight point something amps out of the solar panels because that's what they are rated for but let's turn everything off so that there is no solar going into the house the wiring kind of um, goes over here and it goes out and these are both the the negative and the positive leaves the the negative leaves it, it, comes from down here at the lower end of my garage and then on top of the roof there is a wire going up and it goes up here and it goes in and down into the box so i should be able to disconnect i'll take the box apart and i will uh, and i'll disconnect all the positive leads i have a pallet of firewood or fire bricks or something sitting in, in my garage my good neighbor came the other day and asked if i was interested in a in a pallet like this and uh, he could he could get it for about 1400 danish kronas 
which is about 200 300 danish kronas less than if i was to go and buy this online so i said yes and then only a few days after that it was delivered and we were able to get it all the way into the garage so i didn't have to do anything that was marvelous i kind of know that people are going to be asking so uh, this is the back of my solar panels and uh, i guess you can pause and see that uh, they are a bit damp right now because of all the moisture in the air but they're 285 watts 32 volts and open circuit there are 38.7 volts so i've loosened all the screws i guess uh, this was the stuff that i forgot to put inside last time i messed with this and i have to take this off carefully to not lose all the screws there. okay this is what it looks like uh, I have marked all the positive leaves with a uh, red tape, which uh, makes it really easy right now. So I'm gonna remove this one and it's gonna add up really well because this one is the panels that are furthest away and it just happens to be that the, the cables down there, they have the right length. So by moving uh, the longer cables one down all the time, uh, that will work out for me. Kind of difficult to explain, but um, yeah, um, this one is gonna, with the shortest cables, because it's closest, it will um, be obsolete uh, and everything is gonna move one down. Um, right now there is power on this, so I think I'll just measure what the voltage is right now, because that is also a bit interesting. So the first, we have 108.2, uh, 108.1, 107.3, and 107.7 so awesome okay i am uh, messing with the cables out here i have disconnected and connected so right now this roll here should actually be live so i think i will go and measure the voltage so unfortunately the sun is not shining as much as before so um well the measurements are that i guess this one should be pretty much dead disconnected so that is at mm, five four for three volts this one is at 108 this one is also disconnected half a volt and this one is 0.1 of a volt so yeah we should be able to disconnect that one and remove that from the circuit from the circuits okay i couldn't get that to add up so um i tested a bit more and sure thing i had fucked up <laughs> yeah that happens so right now open circuit on the first roll of solar panels we have 142.9 volts coming in awesome let's uh, move on to the next pair of panels it's never as simple as you think it's gonna be this one is up and running these two the negative wire is good um the far roll down here oh and the multimeter is complaining about i forgot to turn it off um i don't have a wire that is long enough to go from that connection right there and all the way down to there but i do i'm gonna take the connection that i had here and i'm gonna put that here so that one is gonna be far enough uh, long enough so I'm gonna take that one out and replace it with one that is just a little bit longer <laughs> and then I have some wires here that I need to untighten some screws to get those out of there because yeah yeah I have been cutting down a lot of plantation over here to get to the wires up here um I actually managed to get that wire you sh before it was going down there now it's going up there and that was long enough so i didn't have to do anything i had already disconnected it and put it over here to prolong that one but i found that that was probably a stupid idea because then i would be missing a cable and so i put it back and then this cable i uh, prolonged it with about a meter i had some cables that went from one panel to the next panel for this outer roll that was the cables that i had to detach up here so they were attached in the framing here. That was a job, but now they're all connected. I haven't messed very much with the cables down here. I have unplugged this box and it was uh, connected to one of the other ones with two big fat uh, cables and I removed those as well. 
but otherwise this should be as, as it was before which is pretty awesome because I have two cables going down into the basement to the charge controller and now one of them just has a single string of panels on them the middle one and the other one has uh, two panels on them so it's gonna be very easy for me to split that up one for the lithium ion bank and two for the lit acid bank so let's see 143 volts let's see this one 144.3 volts 144.5 volts so that's they go up and down as the sun shines so all of them are under 150 volts so i think we should try and turn it on and everything is correctly put the cables back in here and try and uh, turn it on i am um, i was cutting down all of these plants out there and my gloves became really wet so i actually had to go in and get another pair of gloves i didn't want to play with 144 point something volt dc uh, with wet gloves good 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 so we can put the cover back on and we have we wired the cables and there we are and now we can get into them turn them off if we wanted to do that have them stay on and click there and the box is closed and it's waterproof except up here i drilled way too big holes for that let's go in here and see what it says what do you say up here it's producing five oh what is it doing 500 watts oh that's batteries are at 50 volts 10 amps going to the batteries 500 watts awesome load 50 volts 1.4 that's just my computer in the living room drawing 70 85 watts total i want to see what comes off the solar panels Ooh, now it's noisy there are 122, 3, 4 volts coming in from the solar panels. Awesome! So we improved that with one panel. Nice! Over here, these two cables are from the solar panels out there. And one of them has two strings of solar panels on and the other one has one string of solar panels. So my idea is to bring uh, one of the cables down to this charge controller and the other one down to this charge controller But before you do that you actually need to connect the batteries and um, Yeah, that's the project that I'm gonna be working on next. I think I have been out purchasing another Fuse box breaker box here so that I really want to be able to disconnect individual battery banks before uh, Attaching and detaching them in here in the living room right next to my computer i have this uh, old ipad sitting i have been looking for a wall mount for it but i only have it sitting on a box here so uh, never mind but i have this my green um thing here and that is monitoring the solar panels and it, it uh, it's connected through a little uh, cloud key or uh, box key box something which comes with the e-smart and um, yeah i can kind of keep up with what i'm i'm doing here solar panels right now we are getting 120 ish volts well and then it dropped and the uh, and the wattage and the amps awesome then we can go down and see what's going into the batteries batteries are at 50.2 volts that amount of wattage going in amps batteries are 75 percent full battery temperature 20 degrees c and my usage uh right now i'm using 90 watts it's just my tiny little computer and my two screens that are connected to it right now so and um, and they are more or less connected 24 7. Uh, so they are using 85 watts if we uh, move the mouse around the screens will come on and it will use slightly more i kind of like looking at this and uh, we can see the history here uh, what did it it has done 593 watt hours today which is oh that's used it has generated 500 oh then it updated sorry 
it has generated 558 watts hours it has been off for hours while I've been messing with this and I've used 905 watt hours and right now the time is about 12 11 so uh, good thing that I got this back up and running so that I can well at least beat that number because that means that I've generated more power than I have used uh, also there is daily uses so you can go back and see what I've generated the last days so this is all of October there is oh, something really bad going on there you can press that and see if what date was that that was Sunday with 500 watt hours 800 yeah that wasn't great 500 watt hours on a day then it's cloudy and I seem to use about 2 kilowatt a day for just my computer and my screens so it can also do monthly thing here so we can go back and we can see monthly but I don't trust those numbers they're weird to me I don't see how those numbers could be true and why does it just go up and up and up I am a bit suspicious on that so that was that little improvement I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work good uh, one of the strings the one where there is two strings for solar panels is not gonna see much of a difference because it already had two strings on there and uh, it's gonna be the same amount of amperage going through but the voltage has has gone up but the same amps well when they don't change the losses in the cable remain the same but the other one I've actually reduced the power going through that cable to about half so that should be good so um yeah thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye